Here's a quick demo of sending out documents, specifically on NDAs for a signature, and then automatically getting an update back within Monday.com. So what I've got here is I've got a board set up in our demo, just called Organizations. Um, this board houses all of the information for the companies that uh, this will be work in this, this fake company will be. And so you'd have all your organizations in here. Whenever you have a new organization that you're working with, you just add them in here. So I've set up a new organization just called Very Real Company. Um, I can then select the contact for who I want to send the MNDA to. So I'm going to just put in John Doe here. And then I have a MNDA button on the far right hand side here. So to send, it and send an MNDA, I need a couple things. I have to select a signer for the company side. So for this, let's get some dudes for Magic Labs. I have to select a Magic Labs signer who's going to sign it on the company side and then who's going to sign it on the receiver side. So to do that, I've set up, I'll click on open. I've set up a tab here where we can pull in the primary signer and then I can CC anybody I like. And then I select a Matchbook Labs signature, who I'm gonna, who I want it to sign here. I should just myself to make sure that I have the signature. And then I have the MNDA button right here. So I just need somebody to fill in for the primary signer. I'm gonna put John Doe, set up under my email. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that button. When I click the button, it will then create a DocuSign document and send it across to the uh, recipient. Um, I need to refresh the page here for that. Uh, I'll say, oh, there it is. <clears throat> so if I go into my email, you'll see I have Benjamin Labs document ready for signature. So if I open this up, I can see that, hey, John Doe, please sign this mutual and disclosure agreement. Thank you. I uh, have the, the name who's going to sign it on the receiver end. It says that's myself. So I've got my name in there. I then click open the document, and this will open up Panadoc for me to sign the document. And it will ask a couple questions. So I have party B, which is uh, the recipient. We have Metropolitan Labs over at the top. So this I'm going to pay. I'm going to call it um, Super Cool Company uh, LLC because I want the full legal name. Then I'm going to click uh, next. It'll ask me other questions. So address uh, one two three Real Place Drive is the address. Go down here and I'm going to go ahead and sign it. So I'm going to put my name in there, but I am um, I'm going to put John Doe, accept and sign. I'm selecting today's date and I'm going to put my name down here at the bottom. So John Doe. And then I'm going to hit finish. And the document has now been signed on this side. Now I'm going to open up my other email and uh, go ahead and sign it on the company email address, which is the Medical Labs email address. So I'll be right back while you do that. All right, I've gone ahead and signed that document. So I'm going to go back over to Monday.com, and you'll see that the MNDA has now been signed. We see this button has changed to signed. If I click on this, it'll open up the document. Uh, you'll see that the full legal name has pulled been pulled in here. So super cool company LLC. And then we have the address, the address has been pulled in, and now we have all this information here ready to go. So that's that's the automation I've set up for the sending of It's super simple, super easy to do. And you can do this for any other document that has been fully templatized. Um, there are some other details that you could do where you could create, you could manually create documents. So if I go in here, I believe I have a, yeah, here we go, Anadoc integration, where I can create and send manual documents in here if I wanted to change some of the details. Um, and then I could also have it come back in and change the statuses, pull in information from those documents, uh, depending on when it was filled out or what was filled out and all those, all the information. The purpose of this one though, specifically was to send the MNDA out and to capture a specific piece of information, namely the legal company name provided by the customer and then the address also provided by the customer. This just removes the error, the potential error of uh, your team accidentally adding the wrong information and having problems with um, sending out invoices to the wrong people. Hope that's helpful.